If you were watching this on Facebook for a while, then maybe you remember a little while ago, we, uh, we grabbed one of those Beyond Burgers. Remember what those are? Those are those like uh, uh, plant-based meat only things. So let's get our grill ready for what we're gonna do today. And if you've ever used a grill mat, you'll appreciate this. Where did I put it? Hello. Uh, uh, grill mats are fantastic. You can cut them down to size. So these ones we're gonna put on half our Weber, just like that, and we're gonna get a few things going. So here's what we're talking about today, this guy. You've seen these in the stores, right? Some, uh, this is one of the brands. Impossible Burger is another one of the brands. The Impossible brands are the ones that you usually find in the restaurant, okay? Those are the ones that are at like uh, Forge Garage and uh, uh, Burger Monger and, you know, some of your local places. This is the one that's available in retail, and they are getting hard to find, man. They really are. So the whole story behind this is there's absolutely no meat, none, zero. It's all plant-based. Now, uh, uh, the Impossible Burger puts in something called HEMA, I think it's called, which is an iron uh, supplement, which gives it kind of a BV flavor. Now, what caught my eye on this one, because we've already done a video about the Beyond Burger and kind of the comparisons to regular food, all that, but this one, what? What? There's no meat. How's it meatier? So that grabbed me. Now, the first thing I noticed over what happened last time or what I saw last time are these little white specks, all right? I don't know what they are. Probably best not to ask, right? But we'll see if it makes a difference. So I do have to say this. The last one when we opened it, and I was kind of being kind, right? And I was like, oh, you know, and I, I'll just pass over it. But th there is a smell <laughs> that comes from these things when you open the package. And I think it just has something to do with the, uh, the preservatives or what holds it together or things that I don't want to ask too many questions about. But it's kind of like... Yeah, it's 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 a, a little it's a little dog foodie, I think. Where, where are you? Is this? But it's not awful. Maybe spam. Maybe spammy closer to dog foodie. Smell what it. do you think? Smell it. Like it. Like it. <laughs> I love the honesty. So anyway, so initially when you take that plastic wrap off, that might not be the most appealing thing in the world to you. So just get ready for that. I kind of wasn't the first time that it happened. Now. We've gone around, we've eaten a lot of these like plant-based Impossible Burgers, and I've really only had, cheers, really only had one that I was like, what does that smell when it hit the table? Remember that? Remember that one? It like came down like, ooh, isn't that cooked? <laughs> All right, so listen, we're going to do one burger just kind of plain and simple, and then we're going to do one where we kind of jazz it up, all right, just like we'd make it any other way. So uh, first things first, we've got to take our impossible patties now these are heavier than they look these are quarter pound patties but they're a little on the small side one of the things i appreciate this though they don't shrink so i don't have to worry about that can't forget the spices and that's what it's all about listen you guys a regular unspiced 80 20 hamburger sometimes is just as good as the grill that you make it on you know what i mean there's not a lot going on there so i don't expect a lot out of this without our own touches. So uh, maybe you're doing it on a flat top like our Blackstone here and you're picking up that perfect seasoning that you've been working on and that's what's making your grill taste or your burger taste so good. Or, 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 or. Maybe you're doing it on a big green egg and that lump charcoal is pulling all of that beautiful flavor with it when it comes up. Or, you know, maybe it's just charcoal time. But you definitely want to make sure that you hit it with whatever spices kind of uh, sets your burger apart from everybody else's. So for us, it's our salt, pepper, garlic. Love this. Seven types of uh, pepper, uh, beautiful Himalayan salt. You got nice elephant garlic in there. That's good stuff. Now, listen, just because you try one of these burgers doesn't make you a vegetarian, doesn't make you a vegan. I love you people, but I don't understand you. All right. So if you just want to go the simple route of getting a little bit of, uh, you know, red meat out of your diet, but you're okay with all the other type of meat that's going in there, then by all means, make sure that you're doing your things. All right, so uh, we check it out here. I want to make sure that we're not burning too much. I love this. All right, so let's flip our burgers. Come on in here, because this is important. You ready? Let's have a look. See, I love that. You still got that char. You've still got, oh, it's beautiful. Those beautiful grill marks. So let's go ahead on one of them and put a little bit of cheese. There we go. Let's get that one on there to make our cheeseburger all right there we go so watch this we're going to put a little smoke on these burgers you ready so i'm going to take a bit of that bacon grease and we're going to get things a little bit on fire here just like that and then when i put this on and close the air up a little bit if you ever want to add a little bit of extra smoke flavor to your burgers 
what you're going to do here is, is that uh, um, uh, lack of air is going to snuff that flame out that you started. And see this? You're going to be able to create a little bit of that smoking environment on the inside. So if you want to create a little bit of extra flavor, a little bit of extra layer, whether it's a steak, a burger, a fake burger, <laughs> no matter what it is you're doing, that is exactly the way to do it, all right? So now, uh, just give it a second or two to bring that in and watch this nice puff when this comes out. You ready? Oh, yeah. That's a fun reveal, isn't it? So, uh, cheese is melting. Let me see. Watch out here. Let me see if I got this guy. Oh, yeah. Look, 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 look. Not in here. Look at that. You see, to me, that, that screams burger, man. I've done these Boca burgers. I've done these uh, veggie burgers, these Morning Star burgers. And I will tell you right off the bat, one thing they don't do is that. They don't do that. They don't give you that look and feel. You know what I mean? So let me take the bacon off right like that. So here, we're going to take this guy. We're just going to kind of put him on his own. And we'll, have a, we'll kind of have a look at him by himself. There we go. And now, let's take the other one, and we'll start with that burger that we want to do. So, guys, when it comes to uh, uh, shrinkage, when it comes to this cooking the way you'd expect it to, right off the bat, you're not really going to find a whole lot of difference between this and working with meat. It's going to have the same cook time, and yes, it will bleed. So if you're shooting for that uh, authentic experience where you get that little juiciness and that red, these will do it, man. So I'm going to go ahead, put the lettuce on the bottom. Always put the lettuce on the bottom of the burger, especially if you're going to do sauces. But if you've got something that's quite juicy, what ends up happening is it gets into the bread and it kind of makes it all mushy. Nobody likes that. So now, let's go ahead. What do we want to do? Oh, yeah. Let's take... What order? We'll do the tomato, we'll do some onions, and then we'll do some bacon. All right, so before we get into that, let's have a look, okay? We'll cut into this in a second. But here, I'll use a knife for this. Let's have a peek. So this is what it's all about, you guys. It cuts like a burger. This feels like a regular char. There's no doubt. Listen, these, these dudes ain't paying me for this. This is just what it is, all right? Now have a look here. I'm going to open this up. Now, I even overcooked this a little bit. You can see this. You ready? It is actually juicy. All right, and I love that. That is the difference right there for me. And I, like I said, I've tried a bunch of these. I'm not saying that it, with a blindfold on, you're going to be able to tell the difference between this and meat, because you is, okay? There, there, there's no doubt. It's not one of those, wow, what's going on here? However, if you want to just get a little red meat out of your diet, or if you are a vegetarian, or for some reason a vegan, and you absolutely are missing that, or you know, you, you, you're dying for a taste of that burger, this is really as close as you're gonna get. Now, uh, uh, um, for the vegetarians and the burgers, uh, and the, uh, and, and, and the uh, vegans, let's forget that I put bacon on here. But guys, look at that. I gotta tell you, there is not much of a difference look-wise and feel-wise where I am at right now. There's no meat in that burger. That, that still kind of stuns me a little bit, all right? So here we go. Mm. See, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Maria, come here, man. Come here, guys. No meat. Ah, she's a good eater. Mm. Right? Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. That's it, man. Anyway, my name is Mark Hill. This has been Marks on the Grill. We will see you next time, you guys. But I'm oh, not stopping there. I like it. Hey. Whenever we went on air with like proteins and meats, we'd cut it, stacking up. You ready for this? Here we go. And give it a little squish. Hey, that is beautiful. I think that's terrific. For everybody that saw our original video on the uh, less meatier beyond meat. Actually, you know what? Now that I just said that, there is a difference in this. I, I can tell you that we've eaten enough of them. This is the first one I've eaten that said now meatier. That's pretty good. I'll give it to them.